welcome back to my channel and to another recipes video. So in this video, I'm going to throw in two air fryer recipes for you. Both are super delicious and they are quite easy to make. So give them a try if you haven't already. I own the Ninja Dual Zone air fryer and I absolutely love it. I have the AF400 UK, it's the nine liter and it comes with dual baskets, which is so, so handy and I use it every single day. So I'm gonna go ahead, jump into today's recipes. So I really hope you enjoy them and I'll see you at the end. Okay, so the first recipe I'm sharing is this mozzarella and pesto chicken. It's absolutely delicious. So I'm starting with two medium potatoes. I'm just going to start by peeling these then I'm going to give them a really good rinse and then we are going to slice them. So I'm going to make these um, medium to thin slices like so. And then once I've cut both potatoes, I'm going to take a saucepan, pop the potatoes in there, add some salt and then we are going to pour over with some boiling water and we want to parboil these for around 10 minutes until they are nice and soft. Okay, so my potatoes have been parboiling, I've just drained them and now it's time to season them. So I'm going to season with some roast potato seasoning. Then I'm going to spray with some of this sunflower oil spray. I always use this spray oil, try not to use fry light, it can damage the non-stick coating in your air fryer. Now give them a quick shake and pop them into your air fryer basket. I'm just going to use my hands and just line them up in a single layer if possible. Set those aside and grab your chicken breast. So I've got one chicken breast here, it's quite large and I'm just going to butterfly it. So just slice it down the middle very carefully. There we go and now I'm just going to cover it with some plastic wrap and I'm going to grab my rolling pin and I'm just going to flatten the chicken slightly. This will just make sure that the chicken cooks nice and evenly when it is in the air fryer. So now I am taking some red pesto and I'm just going to pop some onto the chicken and then I'm just going to spread it out nice and evenly. Make sure it's all over the chicken, not missing out any spots because we want this chicken to be full of flavour. Next up I am using a bowl of mozzarella so I'm just going to slice that up and I'm going to add in two slices, pop it on one side of the chicken breast then I'm going to season with some pepper and then I've got some Cajun seasoning here so just carefully sandwich up your chicken breast like so and then you want to generously coat the top with the Cajun seasoning. Again, we want lots of flavor. We don't want bland chicken. So don't be shy with the Cajun seasoning and then just rub that in. Now turn over the chicken breast and repeat the process on the other side. Next up, I'm taking these mini toothpicks. They are wooden. I have soaked them in some water to make sure they do not burn. And then you just want to pierce them through your chicken and just seal off the open edge, just so that we don't lose all of that cheese filling. So just do this all along the side until it's nice and sealed like so. Now carefully pop the chicken breast into your air fryer basket. So I've got my chicken and my potatoes ready to go at the same time. So I'm popping them directly into my air fryer. I am cooking on the air fry option at 200 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. And I'm going to use the match function for the second basket. 
Now around halfway through you want to come back and check on both baskets so I'm just going to give the potatoes a quick toss and shake and pop them back in. I'm also going to check on the chicken and it was already starting to look so good so I just carefully at this point turned it over and then I'm going to pop it back in to continue cooking. I then came back when there was around three minutes remaining on the air fryer and I only came back to turn over the chicken breast because I really want to crisp up the top. So I turned it back over, popped it back in and I will come back in three minutes. So once the three minutes were up, I just plated up the sliced potatoes and then here is the star of the show, the chicken. Just look at that mozzarella oozing out of it. It honestly looks so beautiful. Now don't forget to remove those toothpicks. You don't want to bite into one of those. And then I'm also going to cut into it so you can see how perfectly it was cooked on the inside. This is honestly such a good one to just spice up that boring chicken breast. If you don't know what to do with it, just fill it with your favorite ingredients. I use pesto and mozzarella. You can use anything you like and you can make a great dinner out of this. Just look at the inside. The chicken is still very tender and juicy and you just need to give it a try. So let me know in the comments below if you try this. So next up I'm showing you how I make these fudgy brownies, they are so so good. So I'm starting with a large bowl adding in some sugar and melted butter. Now I'm just taking a whisk and I'm just going to combine those ingredients together. Now let's add in one medium egg and give that a whisk also. Once nicely combined you want to add in some vanilla extract. Don't forget I'm going to leave all the measurements in the description box below. Now give everything a really good mix and pop this bowl aside, grab yourself a smaller bowl and we're going to work on the dry ingredients. So I've got some plain flour, some cocoa powder, I've got a pinch of salt and we've got some baking powder. Now just combine these ingredients together and then we are going to add in these dry ingredients into our wet ingredients. Now grab yourself a spatula and give everything a really good mix. Combine all the ingredients together until everything starts to come together. So once your brownie butter starts to look like this, it's now time to add in some melted chocolate and then I also chopped up a chocolate bar, so I'm going to add that in as well and then you just want to combine these ingredients together really well. So I'm going to bake my brownie in this ramekin dish so I'm just going to pour some of that batter into this and smooth it over at the top with a spoon. I had some brownie batter left over so I used a mini cake tin for the remaining batter. Again pour it in, smooth it over at the top and then they were both ready to go into the air fryer. So in they went and I chose the bake option, I cooked at 170 degrees celsius and I put them in for 30 minutes. Once the 30 minutes are up you just want to do a toothpick test to make sure they are fully cooked through. And here it is, this is my brownie done in the ramekin dish. I just topped with some icing sugar and then I also added a scoop of vanilla ice cream. And for the second one, I just wanted to cut into it and give you a closer look at what the inside looks like. So fudgy and delicious. Again, I served with a spoon of ice cream. And then I also added some dessert chocolate sauce. Why not? Give it a try if you haven't before. So there you go guys, two very quick and easy recipes for you today. I really hope you enjoyed them. Please give them a go if you haven't before and let me know what you think of them and let me know if you've tried them. And don't forget to check out my other air fryer recipe videos. I have just so many on this channel and I will see you in my next one. Take care guys, bye.